the most famous shipwrecks ever found. There are more than 3 million shipwrecks in the ocean, according to estimates. While some boats sink in unremarkable circumstances with no loss of life, others are famous for their devastating death toll and disastrous circumstances. Many shipwrecks have been sentenced to eternity in Davy Jones' locker, gradually becoming a home to sea life and eventually disappearing entirely. However, a number of famous wreckages have been rediscovered and raised from the seafloor, providing us with fascinating insights into the lives of those who sailed them. Even some shipwrecks that remain underwater have been discovered with troves of priceless treasures and are popular scuba diving destinations. Here are the most famous shipwrecks to have ever been found. Number 1, Antikythera Wreck Sponge divers off the tiny Greek island of Antikythera discovered an ancient shipwreck on the seafloor in 1900. Following archaeological investigations, it was discovered that the ship was a Roman ship that sank between 70 and 60 BC during a voyage to Italy. It carried a fortune in fine art and treasures, including three corroded pieces of flat bronze that, when reassembled, created the Antikythera mechanism. This was thought to be the world's first analog computer and one of the world's most treasured archaeological finds. The wreckage has been described as a floating museum, with discoveries including bronze statues, 36 marble sculptures, statues, a bronze lyre, several pieces of glasswork, coins, jewelry, and even human remains of the crew and passengers. Many of the amazing finds are now on display at Athens National Archaeological Museum. Number 2, Vesa Vesa was one of the most powerful warships in the world when it was launched in 1628, and it was the crown jewel of the Swedish Navy. However, it had only traveled one mile when it was hit by wind, rolled over, and sank in front of the crowds who had gathered on shore to cheer its departure. The mighty Vesa's wreck was discovered in Stockholm Harbor in the 1950s and was eventually removed to a dry dock after extensive work and preparation. The wreck has been on display in Stockholm since 1990. Despite centuries of submersion, much of its hull and detailed woodwork remains intact, most likely due to the harbor's polluted water preventing wood-eating microorganisms from surviving. More than a dozen people and thousands of artifacts, including hand weapons, ship's tools, cannons, sails, and personal items such as clothes, shoes, and coins, have also been recovered from the wreck. Number 3, Endurance The explorer Sir Ernest Shackleton's ship Endurance was lost beneath the ice flows of the Weddell Sea in Antarctica for over a century. In 1914, the Imperial Transantarctic Expedition set out to cross Antarctica via the South Pole. However, the Endurance never made it to land. It became entangled in sea ice, and the ship drifted northward until it was crushed and sunk in 1915, stranding the expedition's 28 men on the ice. 
they would then embark on an extraordinary journey home. However, 107 years later, in February 2022, a team of scientists, archaeologists, and filmmakers led by historian Dan Snow set sail from Cape Town, South Africa on the icebreaker Agullis II towards the presumed location of Endurance's sinking. The Endurance 22 expedition, led by polar geographer Dr. John Shears and marine archaeologist Mens Unbound, discovered the wreck at a depth of 3,008 meters, about four miles south of Captain Worsley's original location. Number 4, The Mary Rose The Mary Rose was one of the English fleet's fastest and most heavily armed warships. In 1545, it sank while leading an attack on a French invasion fleet in Portsmouth Harbor. It is unclear why it sank, most believe it was overloaded with soldiers, guns, and ammunition. Fewer than 40 of the 400 crew and soldiers on board survived after the ship quickly filled with seawater and sank. A team of divers rediscovered the wreckage in 1971. Over the next 10 years, more than 500 volunteer divers excavated it, and it was brought to the surface in 1982. A third of the original hull was displayed at the Mary Rose Museum in 1986. More than 28,000 artifacts, including hand weapons, tools, cannons, and armor, as well as personal items such as coins, clothing, and letters from home, were discovered during the excavation. Human remains found in the wreck indicate that many had suffered from childhood malnutrition, and crew members had arthritis and bone fractures. Number 5, Queen Anne's Revenge The Queen Anne's Revenge was a former French slave ship that was captured and commanded by Blackbeard, the feared English pirate. It was used by Blackbeard and his crew to plunder Dutch, British, and Portuguese ships on their way to the Caribbean. However, in 1718, it ran aground in North Carolina. Blackbeard fled on a smaller ship with the majority of the treasure, leaving the larger ship to be wrecked and sunk. The ship's wreckage was rediscovered in 1996, lying in 28 feet of water about a mile offshore. Over 300,000 artifacts from the wreck have since been recovered, providing a tantalizing glimpse into the life of a pirate in the early 18th century. Furthermore, many cannons, far more than usual for a ship of its size, have been discovered from a variety of European foundries, reflecting the diversity of cannons seized and plundered during the colonial era. Several of them were still loaded. Medical supplies and instruments are also among the artifacts, lending credence to the theory that Blackbeard used cutting-edge medical technology to keep his crew ready for battle at all times. Number 6, The Sultana The steamboat explosion and sinking the Sultana is the worst maritime disaster in U.S. history. The ship was primarily used for the lower Mississippi cotton trade, but at the end of the American Civil War, 
it was increasingly used to transport Union Army prisoners of war back home. Despite having a capacity of 376 passengers, the Sultana was carrying a whopping 2,137 passengers when three of the boat's boilers exploded, causing her to sink near Memphis, Tennessee. The death toll is unknown, but estimates have ranged from 1,200 to 1,800 people. Despite the disaster, it was overshadowed in the press by events surrounding the end of the Civil War and the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. As a result, no one was ever held responsible. In 1982, blackened wreckage from the ship was discovered in a soybean field about six kilometers from Memphis, which is likely where the Mississippi River used to flow. On the 150th anniversary of the disaster, a temporary Sultana Disaster Museum was opened in 2015, featuring relics discovered among the wreckage. Number 7, MV Dona Paz. The sinking of the MV DOA Paz is known as Asia's Titanic and is the deadliest peacetime maritime disaster in history. It was a Japanese-built and Philippine-registered ferry that was launched in 1963 with a capacity of 608 passengers. It was, however, severely overcrowded with approximately 2,000 passengers on board who were not listed on the manifest. On December 20, 1987, it collided with the oil tanker MT Vector, resulting in a massive fire and explosion that killed 4,386 people. Only 25 people survived after being rescued by a nearby ship. It took eight hours for Filipino authorities to learn of the accident, followed by another eight hours for search and rescue operations to begin. It was claimed that the ship lacked a radio and that the life jackets were hidden away. MT Vector was also blamed for being unseaworthy, operating without a license, looking or qualified master. The wreck is 500 meters below sea level and in good condition. Number 8, RMS Titanic. The Titanic is without a doubt one of the most famous and luxurious ships in history. It cost the equivalent of $180 million today when it was built in the early 20th century and was thought to be unsinkable. However, after colliding with an iceberg, the ship took on a massive amount of water and quickly began to sink. A lack of emergency protocol combined with a scarcity of lifeboats, resulted in the deaths of 1,517 people. The wreckage was discovered 13,000 feet underwater and nearly 4 kilometers off the coast of Newfoundland in 1985. A number of treasures, as well as other fascinating artifacts, were recovered from the cargo hold of the first-class passengers. Though some companies have proposed plans to bring the ship to the surface, the wreckage is extremely fragile due to iron-eating bacteria. Scientists believe that the wreckage will have vanished within the next 100 years. Number 9, HMS Victory.
In 1737, the 100-gun HMS Victory was launched. It was separated from the fleet and sank while on a mission to relieve a British convoy trapped by a French blockade in Portugal, most likely due to a combination of stormy weather, a top-heavy design, and rotten timbers. The entire crew of 1,150 people were killed. It has long been speculated that the ship sank with a large gold hoard on board. However, it has never been discovered, and historians debate its existence. The remains of the HMS Victory are owned by the British government because they are a military wreck. The wreck was discovered in 2008 in a location that archaeologists and historians had not predicted. Archaeologists were able to definitively identify the wreck after discovering a larger gun that was only carried on a prime vessel of the size of the HMS Victory. Along with the cannon, rigging, glass bottle fragments, hull parts, and anchors were discovered. Now you know about the most famous shipwrecks ever found. Let us know what you think, and stay tuned for the next video from Fun Facts Galore.